subscribe to Nazima's Taste of Home. Press the bell icon for latest updates. As Diwali is around, I thought of sharing something sweet. So today I thought of making Bombay Halwa or we call it Karachi Halwa or Konfla Halwa. This is a super silky soft and melt in your mouth Indian dessert. A dessert which combines just a few basic ingredients and a pretty straightforward method to come out with an outstanding recipe. The recipe for corn flour halwa is pretty simple. It is just about cooking the corn flour in a sugar syrup until it reaches the right halwa consistency. Having said that, the tricky part of this recipe is to get the halwa look glossy. If you miss out on the right texture, the halwa would still taste delicious but it would appear gloppy. So watch the video till the end and don't miss out any part of this recipe. For this recipe, we need two and a half cups of white sugar and one cup of corn flour. I'm going to use some mixed nuts, but you can use any nuts available at home. Half lemon and one half teaspoon cardamom powder and three fourth cup ghee. Use a good quality ghee. I'm going to grease a loaf pan to put the halwa and then chop the nuts. You can use any nuts available at home and then keep aside. In a bowl, add one cup of corn flour and add two cups of water. Mix it really well without any lumps and then keep aside. In a large non-stick pan, add two cups of water and then add two and a half cups of sugar. Mix it well and then add one teaspoon of lime juice. This will avoid the crystallization of the sugar. Now let's start cooking this. Keep the pan in medium heat. Remove any sugar form on the top and then discard it. You don't need any consistency for this sugar syrup. When sugar dissolves completely, allow the syrup to simmer on medium heat for just 5 minutes and then add the corn flour mix. Now increase the heat to high, stir the mixture continuously or the corn flour will settle at the bottom and may get burnt. Stir and cook until the mixture turns into a nice transcurrent dough. I'm going to add ghee little by little and keep stirring and mixing. And then I'm going to add a pinch of red coloring. You can add any color of your choice. But this red looks beautiful and transcurrent and looks glossy. Keep adding ghee until all the ghee is used and ghee dissolves into the mixture. Now I am adding half teaspoon cardamom powder and half teaspoon pineapple essence. You can add rose essence too but I love the flavor of this essence. Add ghee little by little and now it's getting thicker and mixture begins to leave the sides of the pan now this is after 45 minutes i am adding the mixed nuts and now the halwa has started releasing ghee keep cooking for another 15 minutes if you are not looking for a chewy texture you can remove the halwa now but i am looking for a chewy corn flour halwa so I'm going to cook further for another 15 to 20 minutes now it's almost one hour and I am still 
continuously stirring this and ghee has start to release from the side of the pan and the mixture has started to leave the side of the pan now this is the right consistency i will cook for further 5 minutes and then it will be ready now to check further whether the consistency is right just take a small piece of the halwa and leave it to cool for a minute and then see if it can be stretched like this now it looks rubbery and stretching now this is the right consistency now i'm going to remove it from the pan this took me 70 minutes now i'm going to transfer this into a greased tray and then level it quickly and add chopped nuts on top and rest it for 1 or 2 hours leave it in the room temperature now after 2 hours i'm going to flip it to a plate and then cut into pieces hope you enjoyed this video please do try out this recipe and leave me a comment if you like this video please do share it with your family and friends if you have not subscribed please do subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for latest updates see you soon with another interesting recipe thanks for watching see you later